What is going on you guys? So I just wanted to do a quick review of the Blue Yeti headphones and I want to, well I also want to do a little tutorial how you connect the Blue Yeti to your Xbox because I've been researching uh, the first time I purchased this microphone. It's a great microphone, don't get me wrong, but there's a little misconception when it comes to Xbox and PS4. If you if you have PS4, you're lucky because you don't need any of this besides the aux cord, obviously. But you know, you just plug it into your um, PS4 controller and you're good to go. Xbox has to be a little bit complicated. So, and when I'm saying this, so pretty much as you can tell here, there's my PC. Here's my Blue Yeti. It's a heavy duty, really nice mic. I definitely recommend it. So, for this video, I'm gonna tell you guys, if you got an Xbox, you have got to have one of these guys. They don't make these guys anymore, so it's gonna be about 50 bucks. I bought it for like 45.97 or something like that. But you definitely need one of these guys, 100%. Then you also need a Y splitter with one male and two females. As you can tell, it's got the headphone jack and it's got the microphone jack. Make sure it's got these little images. You can probably get this for like 15 bucks on Amazon. I went to micro store and I got these uh, for about 15 bucks. You have to make sure it's 3.5 millimeter. What I mean by it is it has to have three circles. If it doesn't have three circles, you're gonna have to find the one with three circles. And they're pretty hard to find. Micro Center has them. Uh, Amazon will have them for sure. If you wanna save up a little bit of cash, get them from Amazon. So what you do is you get your Xbox controller. You get this guy. Make sure it's 3.5 millimeter. You plug this in like so. Then you also need your headphones. Headphones, there's not you don't there is not a specific kind that you have to have in this for this video I got the HyperX. So pretty nice set. So you got your headphones. As far as the headphones, I know these guys have 3.5 millimeter as well. Um, I'm not sure if you have to have 3.5. Um, you could probably get away with three uh, three millimeter headphone jack, but you got your headphones. You plug your headphones where it's at, you know, where the headphone jack is. So you plug, you plug this in, like so. And then you also need your aux cord. Aux cord is a little bit easier because you don't have to have 3.5 millimeter. You could just use the two, yeah, the two circle one at the end, as you can tell if you can see it. But um, you can just need a regular aux cord and you plug this into your mic output like this I know this is so much and I'm sorry guys but this is the way Xbox has to go there's no way around it I tried different ways I tried to plug my aux cord into the microphone jack right here and connect to my Blue Yeti it doesn't work you have to have this guy 100% and then you plug your aux cord into your Blue Yeti so here's the setup you plug your aux cord into the Blue Yeti and you're good to go. Don't have to download anything. Um, but if you just got a Blue Yeti for any reason, whether you're a streamer or just YouTuber and you play on Xbox, you have to have one of these and you have to have the Y splitter. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, I've been running around, I've been watching videos on YouTube and none of them really go into a depth of telling you what you need exactly for your Xbox. Again, for PS4, it's super easy. All you need is your aux cord. You could use the Y splitter, but um, um, you could just use your aux cord, plug that in, and you can use your mic. If you do use um, your headphones for your um, PS4 and you got the Blue Yeti, get the Y splitter, 3.5 millimeter. Make sure it's not a splitter where you connect two headphones because it's not gonna work. You have to have a 3.5 splitter with three circles, excuse me. 
and that should work just fine. And so I got my Blue Yeti connected right there to my PC. You could probably want, use one of these guys. It doesn't have to be connected to PC or Xbox. It just has to have power. And um, right now it's connected to my PC, so that's that for you. Here's a little review. This guy has a little USB port. Then it also has the aux cord right there for your headphones. Really nice setup. I absolutely love this Blue Yeti. I'm recording with it right now, connected to my camera, and I love it. Like, when you play, when you stream, like, everyone can hear you just fine. Um, I do recommend you guys, if you're going to record video games uh, or if you're streaming, I do recommend you guys getting, um, like, a arm for your uh, like a left arm or right arm whatever it's called for your blue yeti because um, when you just sit your blue yeti on your desk it's going to pick up a lot of noise a lot of typing a lot of control controlling you know your buttons uh, it will pick that up there is things you can do with it control but um, as far as that um, it's pretty good mic. It's very professional. A lot of people recommend it. Pretty sure it's like top. It's like number one mic from you know, on the ratings. It's number number one mic in 2019. We're getting into 2020. I you I did buy the HyperX microphone. That one is a little bit more complicated and it's not as good as the Blue Yeti. So. And it's a little bit expensive too. The HyperX is more expensive. It looks really nice, but um, Blue Yeti is very original. Everyone's using it. Every professional streamer, YouTuber, and um, yeah, that's all you need. Again, you could you don't have to be connected to Xbox or PS4 or a computer. All you need is to get the power from your Blue Yeti. You could use one of these Apple things that you plug in and just connect your Blue Yeti to this. As long as it's getting power you're good to go. So I hope this was helpful. If there's any questions, leave them down below. Subscribe if this helped you, helped you out and um, leave a like. And as always, I'll catch you later.